In this video, we'll discuss new approval features in Jira Service Management Cloud, including group approvals and email approvals. We will also review workflows and how to add an approval step to a workflow, helping teams better manage requests within their organization. To review, all Jira projects contain issues that your team can view, work on, and transition through stages of work from creation to completion. The path that your issues take is called a workflow. Each Jira workflow is composed of a set of statuses and transitions that your issue moves through during its life cycle and typically represents work processes within your organization. However, some requests might need approval before they can move to the next status in their workflow. To add an approval step to a workflow, first, navigate to your project settings, then workflows. Select the pencil icon next to the workflow where you want to add the approval step. Next, select the status in the workflow diagram where you want to add the approval step. Note that you will need to have the appropriate approve and decline transitions available in the workflow before you configure the approval step. Finally, click the add approval box or the configure button to start the approval configuration process. Here you will see the configure approval screen. When you add an approval step to a Jira service management workflow, you can specify who needs to approve the request, including groups of users and individual users. You also have the option to select approvers associated with the service. By default, Jira service management IT service management projects come with an approvers field for adding individual approvers and an approver groups field for adding groups of users. For reference, user groups can be accessed from your administration settings under groups. You also have the flexibility to create your own custom fields for approvers as well. Next, Jira Service Management allows you to specify how many members of a group or how many individual users are required to approve a request. For example, if I create a change approvers group that contains five users, but I only require two users to approve a request, I would put a two in the approvals from each group field. Finally, you can set what status the request transitions to once it is approved or declined. Once you have filled out the required information for approval, click Create. Now we can publish the workflow draft with the new approval step by clicking Publish Draft at the top of the workflow page. Before we view the newly created approval step on a request, let's discuss the new email approval feature in Jira Service Management Cloud. Jira Service Management Cloud now allows users to approve requests directly from their email, ensuring that all approvers are alerted to requests that require their attention in real time. To set up your email approval settings, first, navigate to Project Settings, then Customer Notifications. Under Notifications, enable Approval Required, then select Edit next to Approval Required to further modify your approval email. On the Approval Required Email Settings screen, you can edit Security Settings. For example, does an approver need to be signed in to approve a request? who the approval email is sent to, including designated approvers and even customers, and also the content of the approval email. Once you have configured your approval email, click Save. Now that you've added an approval step to a workflow and configured your approval email notifications, let's discuss how approvals work in Jira Service Management. First, a customer creates a request from the customer portal. The newly created request will then transition to a status in the workflow that has an approval step. The agent will see an alert message stating that approvers need to be added to the request to proceed further. Clicking on the alert allows the agent to manually add approvers. In this example, we need to add an approver group to approve the request. Click Add Approver Group and enter the appropriate group name. I have created a group called Change Approvers and we can see that two members of the Change Approvers group are needed to approve the request. Please note that if you do not see a Group Approvers field, you will need to ensure that the Group Approvers field is associated with the selected request type. The designated approvers are then notified by email that they need to approve or decline the request. Approvers have a few options for approving a request, either directly from their email, the agent view of their request, or from the My Request section of the Help Center portal. Please note that a Jira Service Management license is not required to approve a request via email or the Help Center portal. The approver just needs to be a customer of the service project. Only approvals completed from the Agent Issue View require a Jira Service Management license. Once the approval is complete, the request transitions to the next status in the workflow, and the person who submitted the request is notified of any comments that the approver added. 
In the previous example, we showed how to manually add approvers to a request, but there are several other ways to designate approvers in Jira Service Management, including utilizing automation rules that allow you to automatically define approvers based on the provided information in the request, automatically requiring approval from approvers associated with a service, auto-approving certain types of changes such as standard changes without the need for an approver, allowing customers to choose their approvers when creating a request, and requesting approval from change advisory board members. The documentation for all of these approval options will be linked in the description of this video. With scalable plans to suit every size team, sign up for Jira Service Management today.